Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today we are going to present our group project for subject ITX 65 which is data mining. Okay, in this project we choose dry bin data set for our data mining. Next, let's we meet our team members which is the first one is Awis Al Qurni bin Fakhrul Razi. The second one is Muhammad Adib bin Kamal. The third one is Azri Haikal bin Azami. The fourth one is Muhammad Zulharmi Takzim bin Kamaruzaman. And the last one is Ruzaiman bin Muzani. Next, we move to table of content for our project. The first one is data searching, which is done by Ruzaiman bin Muzani. The second part, which is data cleaning, it was done by Azri Haikal bin Azami. The, part, the third part is data transformation done by Awis Al Qurni bin Fakhrul Razi. The fourth part is data reduction done by Muhammad Adib bin Kamal. And the last part is model development done by Muhammad Zulharmi Takzim bin Kamaruzaman. For the part one, which is data searching, we see its introduction first. Dry bin, which is its scientific name is Phaseolus vulgaris L, is the world's most significant and widely produced pulses. From its tree, which is its scientific name is Fabaceae leguminosae. Okay, the key issue for dry bean growers and markets is determining the optimal seeds that they can use for their plant. By mining a dry bean dataset, we can obtain a uniform seed classification based on its features such as form, shape, type, and structure by the market situation. For a problem statement, dry bean producer having trouble to choose the best dry bean seeds that they can use for planting and marketing. Next, we move to the objective. The fundamental goal of this research is to develop a mechanism for obtaining uniform seed varieties via population production. The second objective is to develop an artificial intelligence based CVS for the classification of basic types of dry beans. Next, data understanding. Uh, for this dataset, we have choose a dry bean dataset which is we download from uh, this link which is uh, we use a UCI machine learning repository okay the data set was uh, about the seven different types of dry beans that was used in this research to obtain a uniform seed classification from their features okay in this data set it have uh, 13,611 instance and it also have uh, 17 attributes from the 17 attributes uh, there is one nominal and 16 numeric. Okay, this is the list of attributes. Number one is area. Number two is perimeter. Number three is major axis length. Fourth is minor axis length. Five aspect ratio. Six eccentricity. Seven convex area. Eight equivalent diameter. Nine extent. Ten solidity. Eleven roundness. Twelve compactness. 13 shape factor 1, 14 shape factor 2, 15 shape factor 3, 16 shape factor 4, and 17 is class. Okay, from all of these attributes, only the class attribute is the nominal one, while the other is a num num numeric type. Okay, for the article description, we have obtained a three article. The first article gives information about the classification of varieties dry bean seeds using a computer vision and machine, and machine learning techniques. The second article, it gives information about the visual inspection of beans that were classified based on their skin color. And the last article is, it gives information about the classification system for dry beans using a computer vision computer vision system and artificial neural networks okay now 
Let's move on to part A2, data preparation, selection and cleaning. In this part, we will study and handle numeric attributes and nominal attributes. Beside that, we will identify, detect and handle missing value, noise, outlier and extreme value. First of all, let's see numeric attribute in this dataset. There are 16 numeric attributes in this dataset. And these two slides show an interface of those numeric attribute from Weka. From the table above, we can see 16 numeric attribute which their mean, minimum, maximum and standard deviation. Now we go to nominal attribute. In this dataset, class is the only nominal attribute in this dataset with 7 value. Table above show the count for each distinct or value. For missing values, in our dataset, there are no missing values in the attributes. All our attributes show 0% of missing value. Although our dataset did not consist of any missing value, we will still show simple flow how to handle the dataset if they have missing value. First, we need to go for the filter option in the pre-process interface of Weka. Then go to the unsupervised option before we choose the attribute. After that, click replace missing value, then click apply to remove all the missing value. Next, we go to handling noisy data. Noisy data is the random variance in a major variable or meaningless data. It is important to remove the noisy data because the result will smooth and have higher accuracy. In our dataset, there is no noisy data because there is no redundant data or meaningless data in our dataset. There are a few methods to handle noisy data. First, by using binding. Second, regression. And the third option is by using clustering. Now, we go to the outlier and extreme value part. We can identify if a dataset has outlier or extreme value by using interquartile range filter. This slide shows simple flow or step how we can identify outlier and extreme value in the dataset. First, we need to go to the filter box. Then, we choose unsupervised, then attribute. Lastly, we need to choose interquartile range filter. After that, we need to click apply. After we click apply, we can see that two additional attributes we show, which are outlier and extreme value. We just need to click the outlier or extreme value attributes and the result will appear. This Weka interface show where the interquartile range filter is located. So, after we already applied the interquartile range filter in the dataset, how can we identify if there are any outlier or extreme value in the dataset? Two labels will appear in each outlier and extreme value attribute, which are label yes and label no. If the count in the label yes has value and not zero, that means there are outlier and extreme value in the dataset. In this dataset, there are outlier and extreme value because the count in label yes in outlier is 807, while count in label yes of extreme value is 87 as shown as in the figure above. The instance in label yes, both in outlier and extreme value, are suggested to be removed. We will use the remove which value filter to handle outlier and extreme value. This slide shows simple step or flow how to handle outlier and extreme value. First, from filter, we need to choose unsupervised before go to the instance. In instance, we need to click the filter which name remove which value. Before we click apply, we need to open properties and change attribute in this setting to number of outlier or extreme value attribute in the dataset. For example, in our dataset, we change the number of attribute indices to 18 for outlier and 19 for the extreme value since our outlier attribute are at number 18 in the dataset and extreme value at number 19. Then, we click apply. For the result, we will get count 
zero in label yes in both outlier and extreme value. This means they are no longer outlier or extreme value in our dataset. Table above show sample of first 20 rows of dataset which all column A3 data transformation. Data transformation consists of normalization, discretization and attribute construction. Normalization Normalization is used to remove the duplicate data and database anomalies from the relational table. Normalization helps to reduce redundancy and complexity by examining new data types used in the table. It is helpful to divide a large database table into smaller tables and link them using relationship. It avoids duplicate data or nor repeating groups into a table. It reduces the chance for anomalies to occur in a database. From here, we can see data before normalization and after normalization. Discretization Data discretization refers to a method of converting a huge number of data values into smaller ones so that the evaluation and management of data become easy. There is two forms data discretized which is supervised discretization and unsupervised discretization. Supervised discretization refers to a method in which the class data is used and unsupervised discretization refers to a method depending upon the way which operation proceeds. In this slide, we can see the data before discretization and after discretization. Attribute construction Attribute construction is a type of data preprocessing method. It consists of applying some data transformation operation to the original attribute to create new attribute whose predictive power is greater than the original attribute. Data that is used this method does not add or change. The data just being transformed in more understandable data and presentable form. There are two attribute construction methods, which was principal component analysis (PCA) and progressive sampling. From here, we can see attribute construction data. Next is for the part B is we need to do model development and evaluation. So after data selection and cleaning and also transformation, a classification method was used in the following step to ensure the, that the data was accurate enough for driving data set. So J48 is the classifier method utilized in this research to create the decision tree. So first and foremost, we need to choose J48 as our classifier. After that, click on cross validation and set as full 10. So the result we can see is we get 85.2426% accuracy for cross validation with full K10. Next, we set cross validation as full 20. Then we can see the result we get is 85.2739% accuracy for cross validation with full K20. Secondly, we use percentage split method. After that, we click on percentage split and set as 70%. So the result we can get and see is 84.8461% accuracy for percentage split 70. Next, we set percentage split 80, then the result we can gain is 88.2739% accuracy for percentage split 80. This is the best result of 3 visualizer is J48 using method cross validation with full scale 20. Next part is data preparation, data reduction process. What is data reduction? It is to obtain a reduced representation of data set that is much smaller in volume. Firstly, we done a attribute selection, which is we decide to use greedy stepwise method to our data and we obtain nice selected attribute as shown. First magis as its line, minor as its line, aspect ratio, convert area, roundness, compactness, shape factor 1, shape factor 3 and shape factor 4. After attribute selection, we can see that all the attribute left is 9 plus with one class attribute. 
Next, comparison between two different set of features. First feature is CF subset ever, as we use in our data set. There are nine selected attributes compared to the info gain attribute ever features that there are 16 selected attributes. After this process were done, we save the file as dry bin reduce.arff. This is the first 20 list of reduced data set. Next, we need to do model development and evaluation again, but we use reduce data set. We also using the same classify and method, which is J48, we crawl validation and percentage split to find which method to get high accuracy. Firstly, by using cross validation with full K10 method, we can get the 84.3114% accuracy for cross validation with full K10. Next, we set cross validation with full K20. Therefore, the result we can see and get is 84.2567% accuracy. After that, we use percentage split method. By using percentage split 70%, the result we can get is 83.8289% accuracy for percentage split 70. Next, we set percentage split 80, then the result we can gain is 83.3725% accuracy for percentage split 80. Next, this is the best result of 3 visualizer is J48 using method cross validation with full K tanks. The next part is evaluation result comparison using classify J48. As we can see, the accuracy for each method before reduction is more higher than accuracy after reduction. This is because the more data being reduced from dataset, the more accuracy reduced. This is show that the best and suitable method we can use for this dataset is cross-validation K20 because the highest accuracy that we can get.